Hey everybody, Jean Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another fun beer edition, looking at tasty beers today. Sorta, Mobile Bay IPA. It gets a not too good score, 2.16 out of 5 on Beer Advocate. American IPA style. Sorta Brewing here in Mobile, Alabama. Here what the beer looks like. A little frothy. Nice. A casual IPA brewed with American and German aroma hops and alt bitter yeast using innovative craft brewing techniques to drop a hop bomb of unique citrus aroma and fruity flavors balanced with the smooth malt base of a German grown barley, rye, oats, and wheat. So, that's what it is. But why the low score? 2.16 out of 5. So, nice little head. Nice little sort of a reddish amber color right there you can see. Good enough, decent enough right there on the bottom. Smell like your typical IPA. Citrus. Definitely those hops that are present there. I do smell like a sweet bread sort of yeast sort of smell in this. Definitely smells malty and a lot of fruit flavors. Citrus, maybe a little good grapefruit. Orange grapefruit. the citrus flavors but it does have a very heavy malt scent to it immediately mm. on to the taste It definitely has a sort of that malt, barley malt flavor. I definitely get some of them oats as present in this. Present, present in this. Present. Well, it's um, all right. 6.5% ABV. I would say recommend just drink two of these and that's it. No more, no less. It's all right enough, but I'm not going to go ahead and say that's just the worst thing I've had, you know. I'm surprised by that score, 2.16 out of 5. It tastes like, but there's no, as I mentioned, I'm kind of favorable to other IPAs, Goose Island, Lagunitas, um, Blue Ranger uh, by New Belgium, which place the Ranger now, Blue Ranger IPA. Those okay, those beers are a little more hoppier, but a lot hoppy. Those are I mean, this is good. I'm I'm kinda surprised by the score they gave it. Two point one six, uh very nice malt present to this and um a little bit of finish going down, but I'm getting a lot of those citrus flavors. I'm tasting a lot of that barley. Some wheat, not much oats as they say it's in the beer. Hmm. I don't know why they gave that low score. Um, Serta, along with um, 
Paint Blue, uh, if you know their beer uh, here in Mobile, Fairhope, which is across the bay, are the three closest breweries in my district. We're about to get open, uh, another one's about to be open here in Mobile. Uh, the name escapes me. We had a brewery here uh, from 2007 to 2010 or 2011, just shut down, but for reasons we'll never know. Um, uh, as far as Paint Blue, they've taken over the Crystal Ice old building. Um, they were having, they were contracting their beers to another brewery um, somewhere up in Huntsville, Birmingham. I'm not sure who that is, but uh, seeing right now, they will be slowly beginning to make their beers here in the Mobile area. Um, uh, the one, of course, Serta, of course, we know. Fairhope, I know, I know as well. Um, a very good time if you're a craft brewery, especially here in Alabama. You know, you have a lot of opportunity to really make a dent into the craft brewery world, not just here in the state, but all over, not just in, or in this region, but pretty much throughout the world, country or world. And this is something that I'm very much excited about. Um, So, um, sort of the hook line sinker, um, the Vienna style lager, both of those I've reviewed and both were, I've gave them very high marks for both of those beers. I may have given them B or B score, but they, they were very favorable. Um, they gave this thing a low score. And again, I'm sort of wondering who was the one who, who were drinking this, who was the one who gave them, gave it, gave that score, gave it that sort of, uh, appeal look. Not peel luck. Who gave this sort of 2.16 out of 5? Unless it's not their favorite IPA or Imperial IPAs that they've had. I'm sure they're probably comparing that. But to me, it it it, it is your standard IPA. Very citrusy. Very very more hot present. They call this an ale on the can. 6.5%. Most IPAs are about that now, which is reasonable, fair. Imperials are more than 8 or 9%, a little bit higher. So, I, th I think it's good to me. I'm, I'm, I'm just, like I said, I'm surprised by that score that they gave it. So, I, 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 I'm, I'm befuddled, I'm bewildered, shock, run amok, led astray, why, 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 that score, so, who knows, P, everyone's different, every taste is different, taste buds, taste complexities, you know, whatever's on the tongue, you may taste this thing, you may taste that thing, but, whatever, um, I'm going to go a little higher on this. I think I'm going to give this a 3, 3.2 out of 5. Which will probably be a C, B. C minus about right at a B for an IPA. Yeah, I mean, I, I just don't know why it's a low score. Everything is very flavorful, very well made. Again, IPAs, pairing-wise, sessionables, you can pair them with anything, food-wise. But with this, I think definitely a nice, you know, pasta with some uh, red vodka sauce or maybe some basil, a little bit of meat, some cut of sausage in this. This would probably go well with this. Anything Italian or some something in something in that vein will go, will go good with that. You know, I'm not going to go overly say, "Oh, this is horrible." horrible. No, this this is this is quite good. This is a good good IPA. You know, and of course, in similarly Mobile Bay. You know, if you live in the Mobile area like I do, you know. Mobile Bay, which 
point goes into the, the goes into the Mississippi River. Everything sort of all combines into the Mobile Bay, the Chickasaw River, the Mobile Tennessee River, you know, Dog River, Fowl River, all of those, all lead into the Mississippi Bay. Mississippi Bay, excuse me, Mobile Bay, Mobile Bay leads into the Gulf of Mexico. So, um, I was out the other day hanging out with uh, my friend's cousin, and we were on the Chickasaw River, and the, the water, according to them, has a little bit of some salt and some fresh water. And um, I was a little concerned because, like I said, I'd never been in, in that water. This is my first time at that place. I said, you know, all right, let me see. And it turned out to be quite a good time. Because the sandbar we had there, we hung out, had a lot of some, some crawfish and some Miller Lite, Bud Light, and everything, every beer, light beer, cheap light beer, or some Natty Light in there. Nothing, good, good thing they didn't have any ice beers because we, all of us would have been tore up. On days like that, particularly on the river, I say a light beer is probably the best thing to have. I wouldn't go over than that. Maybe a Miller High Life or Bud or Genesee Lager or Cream Ale. I wouldn't go the ice route or anything like that or malt liquor. I mean, you'll get tore up. Luckily when you're dealing with a boat or anything like that. But anyway, that's not here. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they, they bear, bear after gave that low score. So I'm going to go a little higher. I'm, I'm going to give this beer a B. So that would be uh, an A point, a B, 7.9, 8.1 score. I think that's fair. You know, you know, again, taste buds are different, but I think this is a good, not a great, but I think this is a good, oh, you know, okay IPA. So a B score is about reasonable for me for the Serta IPA Mobile Bay I started Brewing Company here in Mobile or Mobile, Mobile, Alabama. You pick which three pronunciations correct, but man. anyway, Jean Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble team. Keep on watching the noise. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Sorta. Beer, 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 beer. Yay!